Hey, Macy. What you doing, huh? Are you playing? Are you playing? She's so good. Okay, so Tracy and I have started this challenge, if you will. She actually initiated it, and I know I don't drink enough water. In fact, I hardly drink water ever. So, the challenge is, who can drink more water every day? It's a good girl. It's a good girl. You got a tear. Heading to school. Josh forgot his gym clothes, so I'm gonna run over there and give him his gym clothes real quick. After that, I'm, I'm gonna look around, see if there's any sunglasses I can find. Um, I lost my sunglasses, and my eyes do not do real well in bright conditions. Don't know why. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that I'm always creating something on the computer or editing video. Um, but my eyes do not like brightness. So I'll probably check out the Goodwill first because uh, they're always the cheapest there. If they have any, sometimes they don't have any. And then I'll, uh, I'll go from there accordingly to the more expensive places. Uh, hopefully I can get me a pair of sunglasses for under $5 because not really a necessity, they're just kind of a want. Josh was pretty happy to see me. Um, I actually switched vehicles with my mom because we got a thing going on tonight and our van's got issues. Some I haven't worked on, but I uh, went ahead and got him his clothes. Um, I'm headed over to the Goodwill. See if I can find a nice pair of shades. You know, kids always need something. Kids always need something, and marriage always requires work. I was talking to somebody the other day, and they asked me, um, is marriage always peaches and cream, always good? And I said, no. <laughs> marriage is a lot of good and a lot of bad. And a lot of hard times you know and it's not always fun um, but the fact of the matter is you know life's not about having fun life if you all you you're concerned about life in life is all you're concerned about is having fun you're gonna be pretty lonely because you're gonna be looking inward a lot. Life should not just be about fun, it should also be about depth. Because depth is really what will bring you joy over time. When all the fun wears off, when all the glam wears off, when all the all the toys get old, that depth is what depth of marriage and depth of life is what carries you through. 
part of the depth of my life is investing in my wife. Part of the depth in my life is investing in my kids. Part of the depth in my life is trying my best to develop other people. Um, and for me, that's through discipleship and and uh, training and and teaching uh, skills to others. So life isn't just about fun. And if that's what you're looking for, you might have fun for a little while, but without depth, life's not gonna be fun. Life's not gonna be very, very enjoyable. Well, I wasn't able to find anything in there. I tried, I looked. Uh, just wasn't anything that fit real well or looked decent, so. You know, every now and then you find a treasure and you know, you're probably like, why in the world would you spend so much time instead of just going to a place and buying a decent pair of sunglasses? Since we're on the subject of depth in life, Finding treasures in obscure places can give you a sense a sense of happiness, you know, and, and I think it gives you a sense of accomplishment. It gives me a sense of accomplishment to be able to find a kind of a, a valuable, something that I really hold, something that I can put value in, you know, finding it in a really odd, obscure place. I, I find a, a lot of happiness in that. Let me show you something real quick. I really like Kroger. Really like what they stand for. I like their character. Um, they're putting up a new Kroger back here, um, here in Franklin, and it's gonna be pretty big. I kind of like the old, you know, the small Kroger. This one here is gonna be pretty good, and I bet you, if they add those values that they have in the small Kroger over here to this new one you know valuing customers and things like that I think they'll do really well I wasn't able to find any sunglasses um, I wasn't willing to break my rule of going to Walmart for a want rather than a necessity, so. So here I am, no sunglasses. Took a bit of a long nap and now I'm getting the van worked on, heading up to Greenwood. Alright, well, dropped the van off, headed to Chuck E. Cheese with uh, Dave and Janan, and it's Annie's birthday, so we're uh, celebrating it over there. I'm sure we'll have a good time. The adults will probably have more fun than the kids, though, <laughs> from what the way it's uh, from past experiences. I'm never gonna get out.
Well, we are home from Chuck E. Cheese, and the kids are pretty upset. So, time to get them settled down and hopefully go to bed sometime soon. <laughs>